Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play The Elder Scrolls III Morrowind, Game of the Year Edition. In our last video, Fetter used spellmaking to craft Torchlight and restore attributes. He then made his way to Vivek and now stands before the Foreign Quarter Canton. It was quite a while ago when Caius Cosades gave Fetter orders to go to Vivek. So let's get a refresher on why he's here now. Vivek Informants Caius sent me to Vivek with three tasks. Speak with Adaranir, a Khajiit Thieves Guild operative in St. Olms. Speak with Hulia, an Argonian in the Foreign Quarter at the Black Shulk Corner Club. And speak with Mara Milo, a Temple Priestess at the Hall of Wisdom in the Temple Compound. When I have information about the Nerevarine cult and the Sixth House cult from these three, I report back to Caius. Caius gave me instructions in writing. Indeed he did. Let's check those out. Mission to Vivek from Caius. The following are notes prepared by Caius Cosades to summarize your mission to Vivek City. In Vivek, Look for these three persons and get them to tell you what they know about the Nerevarine cult and the Sixth House cult. Each owes me a favor, and each should be willing to cooperate. Adiranir is a Khajiit and a Thieves Guild operative. She won't be easy to find, but ask around in St. Olm's Canton. Folks are easily offended in St. Olm's. Be careful what you say. A little courtesy, a little coin, a little favor in the right place will get you in touch with her. Hulia is an Argonian and a Morag Tong assassin. Look for him in the Foreign Quarter at the Black Shulk Corner Club. He's known around Vivek City as a lover of books and old things. Mera Milo is a temple priestess who works in the libraries at the Hall of Wisdom and Justice. The Hall of Wisdom and Justice is open to the public. Just walk around until you find her. Do not ask anyone at the Hall of Wisdom and Justice about Mera Milo. I don't want to draw attention to the fact that she is talking to an outlander. Mera Milo is a particular friend, and I don't want her to get in trouble. When you've spoken with each of these persons and gotten what information they can give you, return and report to me. All right, Fetter's got his work cut out for him. Well, before we get started, how about we read the Guide to Vivek? Here is a map. Fetter is here, actually, at about this T, facing this way, south. So we can see all the various cantons, the Foreign Quarter, Lalu, Redoran, Arena, Telvani, St. Delin, St. Olms, the Temple Compound, and the Palace of Vivek. And there's Ebenhart over there. Vivek City is the largest settlement on Vardenfell and one of the largest cities in the east. Each of the great cantons is the size of a complete town. The High Fane and the Palace of Vivek are visited by hundreds of tourists and pilgrims daily. Citizens flock to the arena for public entertainments like mock battles and comic plays. Outlanders mostly confine themselves to the foreign canton, while natives live, work, and shop in the great house compounds and residential cantons. But most of all, this is Lord Vivek's holy city. The Ministry of Truth, the Temple Prison, hangs above the great temple of the High Fane, the Halls of Wisdom and Justice, and Lord Vivek's palace. Vivek is a city made up of eight cantons, each a little town in itself. On a map, it looks like a cross, with the Foreign Quarter at the top, the Temple Compound, with Vivek's Palace, the High Fane, the Ministry of Truth, and the Hall of Wisdom and the Hall of Justice at the bottom, the Hlalu Compound to the west, the Telvani Compound on the east, and four cantons grouped together at the center of the cross. Redoran Compound northwest, Arena northeast, St. Delin's Canton southwest, and St. Olm's Canton southeast. The Foreign Quarter the Foreign Quarter is the large three-tiered canton to the north. Originally, 
Foreigners were not allowed to enter Vivek any further than the foreign quarter, but now outlanders can travel throughout Vivek at will. The imperial guilds each have guild halls and complete services here, and an imperial cult shrine serves the spiritual needs of the imperial faithful. Various independent tradesmen, craftsmen, and trainers also rent space here. The Black Shalk Corner Club rents beds to non-guild visitors. Temple Compound The High Fane is the largest tribunal temple on Vardenfell. Archcanon Saryoni presides over the temple, along with a large staff of priests, healers, and monks. Pilgrims travel from all over Morrowind to view the High Fane and the Ministry of Truth, and to offer prayer and thanks before the Palace of Vivek. The Ministry of Truth, a celestial body suspended by Vivek's mighty power over the temple compound, is the headquarters of the temple ordinators, and heretics are imprisoned and re-educated there. The Hall of Wisdom and Hall of Justice contain the executive, administrative, judicial, and martial operations of the tribunal temple. The Palace of Vivek is the abode of the god-hero Lord Vivek, the warrior poet of the three deities who comprise Almsivi, the divine patrons of the tribunal temple. Only the most devout are admitted to the presence of Lord Vivek, and only at his initiation. Beneath the Palace of Vivek is the Puzzle Canal, a place of worship and testing for questing heroes hoping to receive Vivek's favor. Many choice treasures are guarded by Daedric servants in the Puzzle Canal's dark passages. Hlalu Compound Hlalu Compound is the westmost canton. The Hlalu Councilor Crassius Curio has a splendid tier-top mansion here. The tiers below contain Hlalu treasuries, records, holding cells, and various great house services. There are two public houses, the Elven Nations and the No Name Club. A variety of craftsmen and tradesmen also have shops at Hlalu Compound. Some house Hlalu nobles and retainers prefer to maintain their residences in the less formal St. Delin and St. Olm's cantons. Telvani Compound Telvani Compound is the eastmost canton. The mage lord Mavon Drenim is the ranking Telvani noble. The Telvani rent the compound from the temple and have to make do with a Velothi tower instead of their preferred mushroom towers. The administrative center includes a treasury and a hall of records. Slaves are housed in the lowest tiers, along with cells full of monsters. There are many tradesmen, craftsmen, and trainers, and the Lizard's Head Corner Club provides lodgings for Telvani kin and mercenaries. Redoran Compound Redoran Compound is the canton south of the Foreign Quarter, west of and next to the arena. The Redoran Administrative Center there includes the Redoran Treasury, Hall of Records, and Holding Cells. On the lowest tier is a Redoran Shrine and Ancestral Vaults. Two noble families, the Sarens and the Draylors, have top-tier manors. There are many tradesmen, craftsmen, and trainers, and the Flowers of Gold Corner Club provides lodgings for Redoran kin and retainers. Arena Compound The Arena Compound lies between the Redoran Compound on the west and the Telvani Compound on the east. The arena is the site of public entertainments and combat sports. The comfortable domed arena has seating for hundreds of spectators. Beneath the arena are dressing and storage rooms for entertainers and training rooms and animal pens for the combat competitors. St. Delin and St. Olm's Residential Cantons St. Delin Canton and St. Olm's Canton are residence cantons for commoners and paupers. The temple charges very reasonable rents for comfortable workshops, shops, and apartments, and most of Vardenfell's crafts and light industry are housed in these cantons. The Abbey of St. Delin the Wise is on the top tier of St. Delin, and Hlalu Councillor Ingling Haftroll has a top tier manor on St. Holmes. Transportation Footbridges connect with the mainland between the Ebonheart region and Hlalu compound, between the North Bay region and the Foreign Quarter, and between the East Bay region and Telvani Compound. Good roads lead from the Hlalu Compound Bridge south to Ebonhart and north to Sedanine and points north. Good roads lead from the Foreign Quarter Bridge west towards Sedanine, north towards Saran and the Ascadian Isles, and east towards Molag Mar. Roads from the Telvani Compound Bridge are useful mostly for travelers to Molag Mar. Siltstrider service is available at the north end of the Foreign Quarter Bridge, traveling from Vivek to Saran, Sedanine, Balmora, and Molag Mar. 
ships from the docks at the foreign quarter traveled to Ebenhart, Hlaod, Molegmar, and Telbernora. Ships from nearby Ebenhart sailed to Hlaod, Sadrithmora, Telbernora, and the foreign quarter of Vivek. Low fare gondolas shuttle passengers from Canton to Canton via Vivek's canals. Okay, that is very helpful information. I think it's time to head in. Yes, as the guide mentioned, each of these cantons is essentially a little town. This is what I would call an arcology. We'll just kind of run around and review first. Yes, we are at the foreign quarter. We see other cantons in the distance. And uh, with time, we will explore each of them, but uh, to do it all at once in a row would be... Uh, <laughs> well, that's all we'd be doing for months, I think. <clears throat> you noticed there weren't any doors, there weren't any ways in down there. Here's how we would get in, which we're not going to do right now. Not just yet. Just taking it all in. Ah. Let's talk to this person. May you find all that you seek, traveler. I'm Dave Serrano, the gondolier. What is your destination? I can also help with local information. Do you need services? Are you looking for some specific place? Or for someone in particular? Now, Davos here is going to repeat quite a bit of what we just read in the Guide to Vivek. However, I think he might also be able to offer some additional pearls of wisdom, so we're going to talk to him. Starting with, what is your background? I am Davos Arano, gondolier. Well, you know, we don't know about gondoliers yet, so why don't you tell us about your trade? I'm a gondolier. I can ferry you by gondola to various nearby destinations for a modest fee. Okay. What are those destinations? I can carry you by gondola to the arena in the center of Vivek, or to Hlalu compound to the west, or to Delvani compound to the east. Okay, cool. And that gave us some additional topics of conversation. Let's ask about services. Every canton has its own services. If you're with an Imperial Guild, go to the Foreign Quarter. If you serve a Great House, go to the Hlalu Compound, Redoran Compound, or Telvani Compound. If you belong to the Temple, go to the High Fane. Beyond that, there are many independent smiths, traders, alchemists, clothiers, booksellers, craftsmen, tradesmen, and trainers of all sorts in all the cantons. You just have to look around. Okay. Well, what if I am looking for some specific place? Vivek has eight cantons. On a map, it looks like a cross, with the foreign quarter at the top, the temple compound with Vivek's palace, the High Fane, the Ministry of Truth, and the Hall of Wisdom and the Hall of Justice at the bottom, the Lalu compound to the west, the Telvani compound on the east, and four cantons grouped together at the center. Redoran compound northwest, Arena northeast, St. Delin canton southwest, and St. Olm's canton southeast. You're in the foreign quarter now. Go on. Silt striders from North Landing, north of the foreign quarter, go to Sedanin, Saran, Molagmar, and Balmora. Guild guides at the Foreign Quarter Mages Guild teleport you to the Balmora, Aldrun, Caldera, 
and Sadrith Mora Mage's guilds for a fee. Gondoliers ferry passengers between the Telvani compound, the Halu compound, the Foreign Quarter, St. Delin Canton, and the Arena. Roads lead from North Landing north towards Saran and the Ascadian Isles, and northwest towards Sedanin. Okay. Let's go back up here. Well, didn't really have to do that, but... Okay, yes, I'm looking for someone in particular, of course. Here in the Foreign Quarter, you'll find the Imperial Guilds, Fighters Guild, Mages Guild, and an Imperial Cult Shrine down in the Canal Works. Redorans are in Redoran Compound, and Telvani are in Telvani Compound. Halu are in Halu Compound, but also in St. Delin and St. Olm's Cantons. Temple priests, clerks, and ordinators are in the Hall of Wisdom and the Hall of Justice. Some fighters live and train at the arena. All right. That's a good start. We've got uh, a lot to talk about with Davos here. We'll just go alphabetically from here. So tell me about the arena. The Arena Compound lies between the Redoran Compound on the west and the Tilvani Compound on the east. The Arena is the site of public entertainments and combat sports. The comfortable domed arena has seating for hundreds of spectators. Beneath the arena are dressing and storage rooms for entertainers, and training rooms and animal pens for the combat competitors. Alright. Uh, tell me about the Cantons. Vivex cantons are buildings with many levels. The upper works are the rooftops with shops and rich folks' manors. The waste works are the next tier down, usually shops and guilds, with some apartments. Canal side is the lowest level, where poor folks live. The underworks are sewers below canal side. Only grubbers and cleaners go down there. The corridors are like mazes, so watch how you go. The temple built all the cantons, and leases them to shops, guilds, and residents. Now, Davos did misspeak a little bit by calling this level Canal Side. Uh, everywhere that we go, it's going to be called the Canal Works for each of the cantons, not Canal Side. But okay, that is still helpful information. Tell me about Crassius Curio. Counselor Crassius Curio has a splendid mansion in the plaza atop the Halu Canton here in Vivac. All right. How about Drombero? I've seen him in the St. Holmes Canton. Okay. How about guild guides? A guild guide is a spellcaster of the Mages Guild who provides magical transport for a small fee. You can only travel from one mage's guild to another, but it is the fastest way to travel between Vivek, Balmora, Aldrun, Caldera, and Sadrith Mora. Flacassia Fauze is as the guild guide at the Vivek Mage's Guild in the Foreign Quarter. For a small fee, she can teleport you directly to the Mage's Guild at either Balmora, Aldrun, Caldera, or Sadrith Mora. Alright, how about the Hall of Justice? Grandmaster Beryl Sala. Chief Ordinator on Vardenvel has his offices there. All right, how about the Hall of Wisdom? The Hall of Wisdom and Hall of Justice contain the executive, administrative, judicial, and martial operations of the Tribunal Temple. They're in the Temple Canton of Vivac. Okay, what about the High Fane? The High Fane is the largest Tribunal Temple on Vardenvel. Archcanon Saryoni presides over the temple along with a large staff of priests, healers, and monks. Pilgrims travel from all over Morrowind to view the High Fane and the Ministry of Truth, and to offer prayer and thanks before the Palace of Vivek. Alright, sounds like that's pretty important to the Temple Devout. Tell me about the Hlalu Compound. Hlalu Compound is the westmost canton. Counselor Crassius Curio has a splendid tier-top mansion here. The tiers below contain Hlalu treasuries, records, holding cells, and various services. There are two public houses, the Elven Nations and the No Name Club. 
A variety of craftsmen and tradesmen also have shops at Hlalu Compound. Some House Lalu nobles maintain residences in the less formal St. Delin and St. Olm's cantons. Councillor Valanda Omani's manor is east of the city on Elmas Island. Okay. Too good for Vivek, huh? Gotta have your own island. I see how it is. Uh, where might I find Hulia? Hulia? The Argonian Morag Tong? Not many Argonians in the Morag Tong. I'd look for him at the Black Shulk Corner Club in the Lower Waste Works of the Foreign Quarter. Or at Jobosh's Books on the same level of the Lower Waste Works as the Black Shulk Corner Club. Alright, thank you. We'll skip these topics for now. Tell me about the Ministry of Truth. The Ministry of Truth was hollowed out to provide a prison and re-education center operated by the Temple Ordinators for the correction of heretics. I see... Hmm. Okay. How about the Palace of Vivek? The Palace of Vivek is the abode of the mortal form of the god-hero Lord Vivek, the warrior poet of the three deities who comprise Almsivi, the divine patrons of the Tribunal Temple. Only the most devout are admitted to the presence of Lord Vivek, and only at his initiation. Beneath the Palace of Vivek is the Puzzle Canal, a place of worship and testing for questing heroes hoping to receive Vivek's favor. Many choice treasures are guarded by Daedric servants in the Puzzle Canal's dark passages. Alright, uh, tell me about Puzzle Canal. Beneath the Palace of Vivek is the Puzzle Canal, a place of worship and testing for questing heroes hoping to receive Vivek's favor. Many choice treasures are guarded by Daedric servants in the Puzzle Canal's dark passages. I think you just repeated yourself, word for word, but... Okay. How about Redoran Compound? Redoran Compound is the canton south of the Foreign Quarter, west of and next to the arena. The Redoran Administrative Center there includes the Redoran Treasury, Hall of Records, and Holding Cells. On the lowest tier is a Redoran Shrine and Ancestral Vaults. Two noble families, the Serens and the Draylors, have top-tier manors. There are many tradesmen, craftsmen, and trainers, and the Flowers of Gold Corner Club provides lodgings for Redoran kin and retainers. Something that really bothers me is that when describing these parts of Redoran Compound, they are proper nouns. They are capitalized. But when he was talking about their equivalents in Halu Compound, they were not proper. They're just places. And that bothers me. Let's move on. Um, okay, how about St. Delan Canton? St. Delan Canton and St. Olm's Canton are residence cantons for commoners and paupers. The temple charges very reasonable rents for comfortable workshops, shops, and apartments, and most of Vardenfell's crafts and light industry is housed in these cantons. The Abbey of St. Delin the Wise is on the top tier of St. Delin, and Hlalu Councillor Ingling Haftroll has a top tier manor on St. Olm's. Okay, well, speaking of St. Olm's Canton... That is exactly the same. I'm not going to read that again. Let's move on. How about Telvani Compound? Telvani Compound is the eastmost canton. The mage lord Mavon Drenim is the ranking Telvani noble. The Telvani rent the compound from the temple and have to make do with a Valathi tower instead of their preferred mushroom towers. The administrative center includes a treasury and a hall of records. Slaves are housed in the lowest tiers. There are many tradesmen, craftsmen, and trainers and the Lizard's Head Corner Club provides lodgings for Telvani kin and mercenaries. Again, with not making these things... proper nouns. Treasury and Hall of Records. Okay. Well, how about Temple Compound? The Temple Compound includes the High Fane, the largest tribunal temple on Vardenfell, and the Ministry of Truth, a moon suspended by Vivek's power above the Temple Compound, where the temple ordinators are quartered. 
The Hall of Wisdom and Hall of Justice house the executive, administrative, judicial, and martial operations of the Tribunal Temple. The Palace of Vivek is the abode of the god hero Lord Vivek. Beneath the Palace of Vivek is the Puzzle Canal, a place of testing for questing heroes. All right. How about Valanda Omani? Counselor Valanda Omani lives outside Vivek on Elmas Island. Take the bridge to the mainland from Telvani compound, then turn south and cross the bridge to Elmas Island. The path from the south end of the bridge leads right to Omani Manor. Okay, and how about Vivek? Vivek is a city made up of nine cantons, each a little town in itself. Each great house has its own canton, and outlanders have their own canton called the Foreign Quarter. The arena is for public entertainments like mock battles and comic plays. Commoners and paupers live in St. Delon and St. Holmes cantons. But most of all, this is Lord Vivek's holy city. The Ministry of Truth, the Temple Prison, hangs above the Great Temple of the High Fane, the Halls of Wisdom and Justice, and Lord Vivek's Palace. Yes, uh, Devas has misspoken once again, and said that Vivek is a city made up of nine cantons. It is actually eight. Let's confirm that. Was it under cantons? Uh... No, but he did very clearly say earlier that there are eight cantons. You know what? I'm going to find that. Where was that? Is that specific place? Yeah. Vivek has eight cantons and the palace of Vivek. So I understand the confusion. I mean, if you look at a map, there are nine structures. Just one of them isn't a canton. Anyway, let's ask him the four. Uh, this is new. What could kill two ordinators before they can draw their weapons? Slit their throats? Happened right here in Vivek. Must be a sorcerer or vampire. The office of the Watch in the Hall of Justice is worried about sending their own ordinators out after this killer. The rumor is that the Office of the Watch is looking for outside help. You're an Outlander. Did you know five other Outlanders were killed just the same way? Your journal has been updated. Uh, you know, something about that just rubs me the wrong way. You heard about this, right? I know all you Outlanders know each other. No, Davos. The Outlanders don't all know each other. There is no Outlander club. Wait, is there? Uh, this is new as well. Vivek is huge. It is easy to get lost. But if you observe the law, you can't get into much trouble. My advice is wander freely. Learn your way around. See what the craftsmen and traders have to sell. See the sights the pilgrims come to see. The Ministry of Truth, the High Fane, the Palace of Vivek. And while you're here, go take a tour of Ebonheart, the imperial town across the lagoon to the west. A lot to see and do over there, too. All right. Let's see. Uh, uh, we've heard that. And we have also heard that. Okay. Very informative conversation. Let's check the journal. 21st of Frostfall, Day 68. Two Ordinators and five Outlanders have been killed in Vivek, their throats slit. The rumor is that the Office of the Watch at the Hall of Justice is looking for outside help. We would like to make our first friend in Vivek. So, um, come on, Fetter, 95 out of 100. That's good. Yep, we are uh, finishing this video right back where we started. <laughs> but hey, background information is important, especially for a place this massive. 
Fetter will actually enter the Foreign Quarter Canton of Vivek in the next video. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.